Okay. Hi to everyone. And this is Yakub. Now I am going to show you how to download and install Tomcat server for Java web developers. Guys, understand carefully. So before going developing any web application as a Java developer, we need to install Tomcat server compulsory. So every Java developer compulsory need to install Tomcat server because of our web application always run in server only. We have a many server, but but I am going to recommend it to use Tomcat server only. So for download and installation purpose, first visit to website tomcat.apache.org website. Any version you can add, guys. Uh, either download uh, 1.0 and 9.0. Any version you can add it. Now I am going to downloading 9.0 version. And after complete download, then just double click on it. Yes. And later I will show you how to configure that Tomcat server into Eclipse ID. Okay, one by one. So now let us see. Simply I am going with uh, any search engine. Here you can type Tomcat server 9.0 just click on it once you click enter button and it will it will navigate to tomcat apache.org software just click on it just uh, this is our version guys 9.0.85 okay anything you can download just it can consider as a 9.0 and uh, please and uh, don't download these things you can you can focus on downloading uh, installer so 32 bit or 64 bit windows installer once you click on it now downloading will be started okay like this will be started now already i downloaded just i am going to passing this one once it is downloaded and this downloading software now available in our download folder look at here guys here is a downloaded after complete download, just what you will do, double click on it. Ask you want to download this application. Then do yes. Again, click yes. Again, click I agree. And here it's showing normal, but better to select a full. Then click next. And here server shutdown port number is 8005. But by default, Tamcat server port number is 8080. Okay, this port number I am changing 8080 with 8086. You can keep 8080 also, but I am going to change it. And if required, if you want to provide any credential to Tamcat server, you can use username and password. My username is given admin and a password also I given the admin here. Then click next. Now it is asking the path. Remember one thing, even Tomcat server also, we are going to running for Java programming language. Now understand, please in the path of Java software 7.0, later version. Means after 1.7, you can add. Already JDK I installed in my PC. So now I am going to adding that path. Just click on this browse button. Then come to the this PC here and uh, go to the Windows C and go to the program files. Here you can find uh, the folder name is what Java. In Java, just click on JDK and click OK. Automatically our JDK path is came. Once once it is came, just click on next and do install. Now our installation going to finish. And better to deselect uh, these two two options and do finish, guys. Reason is what I don't want to run my Apache Software Foundation in my means uh, my my Tomcat server in my PC. I want to run in my Eclipse ID. Okay. And after complete installation, just uh, double click on C drive and go to the program files. Here you can find the new folder is called Apache Software Foundation. Yet 9.0 is came. Just double click on it. Once you find bin 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 folder, just select this part. Right click on it and do copy, guys. Now with this, I am going to configure 
Tomcat server into our Eclipse ID. Just select this path, copy, and minimize this window. Now, what it will do? Open your Eclipse ID. Now, I am going to creating the my web application pro, web application project. For that, go to the file menu, take new. Here, I am taking the dynamic web project. Now, my web project name is what's our web application web application one first web application i am going to create to run this but eclipse id so that till now there is no tamcat server in my eclipse id by default showing the none then what you will do click on new run time environment and here we have a many folders guys but you can click on apache here are many versions are there now we install tamcat Apache Tomcat version 9.0. Just select it. Then do next. And already our server name is came. Just uh, provide the Tomcat install directory. Just uh, what you copied, do here, paste. That's it. And this only Then do this. And uh, now our target runtime is configured here. This step do only once, not every time. Then click on next. Here, by default, one more folder will become. Again, click on next. And here, very, very important. Here, you can select a generate web.xml deployment descriptor file. Okay, then do finish, guys. Now, our Java web application project going to creating here. Look at here. Our folder is created. Just extract it, guys. In that one more folder came SRC main Java. Here you can find Java files only. In that one more folder is called SRC. Here main. Here web app is came. In web app file, we can save HTML files, .jsp file, and image file. We are going to save. And here we selected web descriptor file. That is what web.xml file. This is what our configuration files are. Okay, it is showing like this. Just click on source. Like this will become. What I am doing, just I am going to creating one HTML file and I will show you some welcome message, guys. Okay, just control S. Okay, already I configure index.html. Now, now I am going to create it. Now I will show you the first web application message. Then what I will do, how to create. Select this project folder, simply right click on it take new and here we have a option what html file my file name is what index what is the file name index here is the same same file i'm doing index and take do next and finish my file name is came here i am writing small message h1 i am giving some style also style is equal to okay color colon red i given just i am giving the message welcome to Okay, welcome to, okay, welcome to, okay, serverlet web application. Just I given small message, small message, H1. That's it, guys. Okay, serverlet, serverlet web application. Save it. Once it is complete, and I want to see my this, this is so go to the windows and here you can change the browser okay i want to see this output in browser. Just after select it just uh, go to the project folder right click on it and here you can see run as a run on server look at you now it is asking this option do only once and then do next and finish now our application will be started. It asks the permission to allow access. Allow access. Now our message will be displayed on our browser. Simple. Which output you are getting on the browser? That is called web application. All right? So this is, these are the steps. How to download and how to install Tamcat server and how to configure into a, our Eclipse IDE for Java developer. Thank you. Please 
subscribe my channel and give your comments and give your valuable feedback to me. Thank you.